Hi everybody, coming to you from my kitchen tonight. Let's get rid of this. Um, snowy night here in Illinois. I don't know how it is where you guys are, but I decided that we wanted some dessert, so we made some monster cookies. So I thought I'd come to you and show you a couple of things that I used tonight. The first thing that I used is um, our Pamper Chef scale, which is not something that you think that you would use during baking, but I really, really like this for baking because it kind of cuts down on your dishes. The recipe that I use, you know, sugar, flour, brown sugar, oats, peanut butter. In that recipe, it told you everything that you needed also by cups, but also by grams. And the scale weighs in ounces and it also weighs in grams. And so 150 grams of white sugar, 150 grams of brown sugar. Um, it told you how many grams of peanut butter. And so instead of measuring, I actually weighed it all out. And so when I had my bowl on here, I could just measure my white sugar out, have the grams, hit the button, zero it back out, and add my brown sugar, zero it back out, add my oats, zero it out, add my flour, zero it out. So the scale was super handy for that. And then I have the cookie dough already, and I'm gonna bake it, of course, on our awesome cookie sheets. Super heavy duty. They have a rolled metal edge around them, so they have a wire steel edge around them, so they're nice, they're heavy duty. But then what I'm actually baking on is one of our reversible silicon baking mats. And these are really nice if you're gonna pair them up and you're gonna use them with our cookie scoops. And we have three different cookie scoops. We have a small, which is this little guy. We have a medium, I say the small is like bite-sized cookies. The small is the one that you're gonna use to fill your mini muffin pan. Then we have the medium, which is kind of your normal size cookies. And then we have the large, which is the one that you can use to fill your regular muffin pan. Or the one I always say that if you're on a diet, hi Marsha, and you say that uh, you're gonna let yourself have one cookie, this would be the cookie that you want, the big old bakery size cookie. And <clears throat> so what these baking mats let you do, and I've already started to do it down here, I don't know if you guys can see it, is on here it says that if you're gonna use the medium scoop, then this is the placement of your cookies so that when they bake, they're not going to run together. If you're gonna use the small scoop, this is the placement of your cookies so that they're not gonna to run together. When you flip it over then, this shows you the placement of your cookies if you're gonna use the large scoop so that they don't run together. And you can see then, here, let me put this one over. If you just flip it over then, that's on the other side. And so it just shows you kind of where you're gonna put those cookies so that they all don't run together and it doesn't make a mess. So you're just gonna scoop out here and this is nice because they're all nice and round. They're all uniform size, which, you know, when you're eating them, it doesn't really matter because you usually don't care. But baking wise, then you don't have some that are overdone and some that are underdone. They're all gonna bake to the same degree. Let me grab a paper towel of doneness. Nope, they're not done yet. Getting ready to go in the oven. I know, I saw you come on there. So, makes it super easy for putting these on there. Now I hear that my brother's been wanting monster cookies, so he might be mad at me because we're having these. Hi, Steph. Stephanie just wrapping up Pampered Chef party of her own. So those are the medium scoop. We have them all on the medium dots, so they're not all gonna run together. And then we're gonna cool them off on our stackable cooling racks, which are up here and they all stack together and you, it says you can stack them up to three high safely. I've stacked them higher, but you know, it might not be really safe. But the nice part about these is then when you get ready to put them away, the legs fold down, fold down and you can stick them away. Um, these, a uh, lady shared a tip the other day. These are great. She sticks them in her fridge and it kind of gives her extra, extra shelf space, something on top, something underneath. So perfect for that, but these will just stack just like that to give you more cooling room on the counter. And they have that cross grid so that your cookies aren't gonna fall through. Now a little tip that I also heard is if you're making peanut butter cookies, you know how when you do the peanut butter cookies, you go back with your fork and you make the cross. Once you get all your peanut butter cookies on your cookie sheet, just grab your cooling rack and come back and press it down and it does all your grid marks for you. You don't have to go back with your fork. So you can do that with your cooling rack too. So. That's another tip. Another tip that I heard with the cooling rack is somebody talked about eating popcorn 
and she had broken a tooth before on a kernel. So now, before she eats her popcorn, she turns the cooling rack upside down on her bowl of popcorn and shakes so all the kernels will fall out of the bowl and all she has left is the popcorn so she doesn't accidentally get one of the kernels in her mouth and end up accidentally breaking a tooth again. So, monster cookies for us tonight. What do we have for dinner? We had leftover, oh, pot roast. We did open face roast beef sandwiches. We still have some roast left, so we're gonna throw that together and make a third meal out of that because we're all about kind of cook once, serve several times. So we're gonna do some homemade vegetable soup out of the rest of that. And um, those will be good meals for the cold snowy nights that we have. One more, and we're gonna be done here. And so we have our cookies all ready to go in the oven. So that's our cookie scoops and our reversible silicone baking mats. I'm gonna bake these up. I'll post a picture of them later. I'll post the recipe that I used underneath. It's a brand new one. I've never tried it before. So I don't know if it's gonna be good. The dough's good because I already tried it. But um, this, love a kitchen scale. If you don't have a kitchen scale in your kitchen, get a kitchen scale. I've used one forever and ever, but love, love, love the kitchen scale. So hope you guys have a good night. Too bad you aren't gonna get to partake of a cookie. Mike, my brother, if you're watching, if you drive in, you can have a cookie. So see you guys all later.